Hello everyone and welcome back to Jus de Rose. In today's video I'll be reviewing the brand new Gris Chanel Extrait from BDK and I'll be comparing it to the original to help you decide which one is right for you. For those of you who haven't tried the original Gris Chanel, you are totally missing out. It is one of my favorite fragrances of all time. This is a really cozy, spicy dominant fragrance that smells like a frothy milky chai latte with some fruity nuances. It has a huge dose of cardamom, so cardamom lovers, get your nose on this scent. You also have some sandalwood, which brings this creaminess to the scent, and fig. So imagine a frothy chai latte with little bits of fig in it. This is what Gris Chanel smells like. It dries down, interestingly enough, quite powdery. You have some iris in here, which brings a lot of elegance to the perfume. So I absolutely love this fragrance, and it is one that I love to reach out for in the autumn and winter time, especially Especially when it is like really miserable outside, it's raining, it's cold. This fragrance is super cozy and it's like the one that I like to grab, say if I'm making like a warm cup of tea or drinking hot chocolate and I want to feel like really great, then I'll grab Gris Chanel. So how does the extrait compare to the original? Well, the extrait contains very similar ingredients to the original. So you're going to find the fig, the cardamom, the black tea, there's some vetiver as well, but truly this new version is a much more sensual and woodier interpretation of the original Gris Chanel. You have the addition of patchouli, which is going to bring a darker side, a sense of intrigue. I have a feeling that the vetiver is also enhanced in this fragrance. You have a light ambery nuance and very important, a big dose of vanilla. So it is a sweeter version as well. I would say that the Gris Chanel Extrait is sexy. Whilst the original is beautiful, it is not sexy. It is more elegant and extremely addictive. This new extra is sexy, it's wild, and untamed. The difference between these two perfumes is the most striking in the dry down. With the original Gris Chanel, I find it to be powdery, fresher, and fruitier, whilst with the extra it is warmer, balmier, and develops a milky, lactonic facet, which you don't find in the original Gris Chanel. And really, the vanilla and tonka bean really comes through in the dry down with the extrait and it's gonna give like an almond milkiness, almond milky sweetness that makes it even more addictive. So personally, between the two, I prefer the dry down of the extrait, but I do like the opening of the original Gris Chanel better. In terms of use, both of these fragrances are great autumn and winter staples, so great for colder weather, I would say. The original Gris Chanel is better, in my opinion, for daytime use. I don't really reach out for this scent in the nighttime because it is fresher, fruitier, and it's not very sensual or sexy. That's why I like to wear it during the day. Whilst with the x ray you can wear it both during the day and transition into the night. So I actually think the x ray is a little bit more versatile than the original Gris Chanel. And in terms of performance, both of these fragrances last over 12 hours on my skin, whilst the projection is slightly different. I find that the original Gris Chanel lifts off more of my skin than with the x ray version. But that being said, you can still smell the extray. It is very strong and powerful, but it just is a little bit warmer and stays slightly a little bit more closer to the skin than the original Gris Chanel. Now the big question is, which of these two fragrances do I recommend getting? If you already own the original Gris Chanel, go for the extray. It is a similar enough DNA to really enjoy it, but you have some little tweaks. It's warmer, more sensual. So I think it is nice to still own it in your collection if you're a big fan of the original Gris Chanel. Now, if you are a first time buyer and you haven't tried any of the two fragrances, I'd recommend you go for the original. There's something really special about the original fragrance. I think it is such a stunning perfume and also in the dry down, I find it to be a little bit less polarizing than the x-ray version, which is why I would recommend it over this new perfume. And that is it for today's video. I hope you found it useful. Let me know in the comments down below which of the two perfumes is your favorite. I would love to know. Thank you so much for watching and remember, spread the fragrant love.